dear students now we are going to discuss about the hip bone what is mean by hip bone hip bone which connects the lower limb to the trunk okay so our body it is having head neck then trunk and the two limbs so lower limb okay which includes the thigh leg and the foot okay so this lower limb which is connected to the trunk by this bone known as the hip bone it's a irregular bone okay it is not having any shape so this this bone so these bones are known as one hip bones or pelvic bones so we are going to see the features of this hip bone so what is meant by hip bone hip bone is a bone which connects the lower limb to the trunk this hip bone is having three parts ilium ischium and pubis see this one see this is the inner side and this is the outer side of the or this is the medial side and this is the lateral side of the hip bone now you can see ilium ischium and this area this is what the pubis this is anterior part this is a inferior part this is a superior part of this bone so it is having three parts ilium ischium pubis here in the opposite side ilium ischium and pubis so it is having three parts here in this previous diagram see this area this upper broad portion this is what the ilium then this lower part ischium then this part pubis okay so ilium ischium then pubis okay then three parts are joined to each other at a cup shaped depression it is known as acetabulum what is that see here we can see a cup shaped depression or a depression here or a fossa here okay this depression which is you know the lateral aspect of this bone it is known as what the acetabulum okay so this depression it is known as the acetabulum and at the same time below that there we can see an opening or a foramen this is known as the obturator foramen obturator foramen okay so pubic and ischium are separated by the obturator foramen correct now pubic bone and or pubic part and ischium are separated by obturator foramen so the introduction about the hip bone hip bone is a irregular bone which connects the lower limb to the trunk with the three parts ilium ischium pubis then obturator foramen and acetabulum where comes the acetabulum here see here we can see the next bone the femur okay this femur articulated with this hip bone here that fossa that is what the acetabulum so acetabulum means it's a depression or it's a fossa for the head of the femur or femur are articulated here to form the hip joint okay with this depression it is known as the acetabulum so no, in russian that is clear now we are going to see the ilium in detail Ilium it is the upper expanded portion of the hip bone. That is clear now. Then the ilium it is having two ends, upper end and the lower end. Then three borders: anterior, posterior, and medial border. And the three surfaces: gluteal surface, then iliac surface or iliac fossa, then sacro-pelvic surface. We will see one by one. So it is having two ends. What are the two ends? Upper end and the lower end. This upper end it is known as otherwise known as iliac crest. Yeah. see this is our ilium see this this one from this point to this point this area this is what the upper end and this is this one this is a lower end okay so two, two ends are clear lower end upper end then two bo three borders what are the anterior posterior and medial we have to identify see from this point to this point this one this is the anterior border like that from this point to this point the posterior border so it is having two borders anterior border and posterior border two ends lower and under upper end see here in the opposite diagram see this is the upper end this is a lower end here this is the anterior end. anterior border and posterior border then one more is there this is what the medial border medial border is seen only in this diagram see 
that means medial border is seen in the medial surface medial aspect of the hip bone i already told you this is the medial side of the hip bone but this is the lateral side of the hip bone so here we can say the medial border this ridge okay so anterior border posterior border then medial border okay so two ends upper and lower end then three borders then three surfaces what are the gluteal surface iliac fossa or iliac surface then sacrocalibic surface see this area between the anterior border and the medial border that is what the iliac fossa or the iliac surface now between the medial border and the posterior border that one is the sacrocalibic surface so sacro pelvic surface see this one is a sacro pelvic surface then this lateral surface this is one the gluteal surface between this anterior border and posterior border this is a gluteal surface so gluteal surface iliac surface sacro pelvic surface three surfaces are clear now we have to go through that see upper end this upper end is otherwise known as what iliac crest which one once again we have to identify the iliac crest see this is what the iliac crest or the upper end okay then lower end i already told you it is fused with the, the other two parts lower end fused with the pubis pubis and the ischia then three borders and your posterior and medial three surfaces gluteal iliac surface and sacrocalibic surface those points are clear now we have to see the details of iliac crest first iliac crest anterior end of the iliac crest is known as anterior superior iliac spine like that the posterior end is known as posterior superior iliac spine we have to check it see this is the iliac crest this upper end is another is known as the iliac crest since anteriorly there we can see an elevation or a, or a spine like projection okay that's why it's known as iliac spine it is a spine of the iliac so iliac spine where it is seen it is seen in the anterior part so the anterior part two such spines are there one is seen above the other one is seen below so anterior superior iliac spine this will be the anterior inferior we'll discuss it later so anyway here in the iliac crest anterior part of the iliac crest is having one projection that one is anterior superior iliac spine like that the posterior end is also having another projection that is what the posterior superior iliac spine so that's all about the iliac crest iliac crest is the upper end of the ilium with two projections one is in the anterior part known as anterior superior iliac spine the other one is in the posterior part known as posterior superior iliac spine so iliac crest is clear now nothing more about the lower border so sorry lower end okay upper end is otherwise known as iliac crest details of iliac crest is clear now the lower end nothing more about the lower end i told you this it joins with the, these two parts now we are going to the borders anterior border posterior border and medial border later we have to discuss about the surfaces so first anterior border anterior border there we already saw the anterior superior in the upper part now we can see anterior inferior iliac spine see this is an anterior border okay see in the middle of the anterior border there we can see a projection now we can name it as anterior inferior iliac spine it is a spine or it's a spine like projection from the ilium so iliac spine where it is seen in the anterior part of the ilium okay exactly where antero inferior part so anterior inferior iliac spine okay this is anterior superior below that anterior inferior okay so anterior border is having one spine like projection that is what the anterior inferior iliac spine like that if you are to con considering this posterior border there also we can see a spine like projection one small projection this one the posterior inferior iliac spine so it is seen in the posterior side so posterior then in posterior there we can see two one is superior the other one is inferior so posterior inferior where in the iliac so posterior inferior iliac spine okay so posterior border is having a spine like projection posterior inferior iliac spine below the spine there we are having a notch this is what the greater sciatic notch so posterior border is having two features one is posterior inferior iliac spine then the second one is a notch known as the greater sciatic notch so posterior border it is having posterior inferior iliac spine and the greater sciatic notch now medial border medial border which is seen on the pelvic surface okay then it forms the 
boundary we already found the inlet of the pen this way see this is what the medial border the seen on the medial surface or this is seen the pelvic surface or this is seen between the iliac surface and the sacro-pelvic surface okay this one this is a medial border and it forms the inlet of the pelvis what is the inlet of the pelvis for that we have to see take the previous diagram so here we can see a margin like this this margin we are or this border we are considering as the inlet of the pelvis and above that inlet this area it is a false pelvis below the inlet this area of the pelvis it is known as true pelvis so pelvis itself is divided into or pelvic cavity see these three bones joins with the on the pelvic cavity right and left bone and posteriorly the sacrum okay these three bones joins with the on the pelvis okay so here we can see the pelvic cavity clear don't confuse with the pelvis and pelvic bone this is what the pelvic bone this is opposite side pelvic bone and this bone the third bone this is a sacrum these three bones means to right and left pelvic bone plus or right and left hip bone plus the sacrum joint so that form the pelvis this area now it is known as the pelvis pelvis is having two parts this area this one is true pelvis and this upper part it is a false pelvis now this false pelvis which is separated from the true pelvis by this ring that is what the pelvic ring or pelvic inlet okay so here we can see the medial border so medial border forms the posterior part of the pelvic ring okay so that's all about the medial border nothing more about that now we are going to the surfaces first to gluteal surface gluteal surface it is divided into three four parts by three gluteal lines see this image see this is the gluteal line same diagram see the same diagram here the lines are not clear that's why this see here we are having the inferior gluteal line and anterior gluteal line and posterior gluteal line okay so anterior gluteal line posterior gluteal line inferior gluteal line clear now anterior gluteal line lines means ridges see here anterior gluteal line and posterior gluteal line and inferior gluteal line now you can see three four parts four four surfaces see one is this second one is this, third one is this fourth one behind the posterior so this gluteal surface is divided into four areas one two three four by three gluteal lines inferior anterior posterior that's all about the gluteal surface <coughs> then iliac fossa iliac fossa see this area i already told you it is in between the anterior border and medial border it is a concave it's a concave fossa seen between this anterior border and medial border now the sacro pelvic surface it is having or it is having three parts okay what are they iliac tuberosity auricular surface and pelvic surface see this area iliac tuberosity the auricular part then this lower part pelvic surface okay so that's about the sacro pelvic surface now the ilium is clear i already told you ilium what are the features of ilium ilium it is having two ends upper and under lower end features of those ends are clear then three borders and these are border posterior border and medial border clear and three surfaces features of those three surfaces are also clear now we are moving to the ischia so pubis okay pubis it is having it forms the andro inferior part of the hip bone i already told you it forms the andro inferior part of the hip bone with the three parts body superior ramus ramus means what branch okay so it is having a body from the body two branches okay so superior ramus and inferior ramus see this area this is what the body this, this bone this yellow colored bone this is what the pubis bone okay so this this area this is what the body from the body the this one this is a superior ramus and here below inferior ramus so this is a body from the inferior ramus 
superior ramus. Now we have to go through the details. First one, body. Body is having only one prominent superior border known as the pubic crust. The pubic crust ends in a tubercle known as the pubic tubercle. It is known, it is not clear in this image. Say here, this one is a superior border. It ends in a projection. That is what the pubic tubercle. It is having three surfaces. What are the three surfaces? Anterior, posterior, and the medial surface. See, this one is the medial surface. That this is the posterior surface. Now here, that this is the anterior surface. So anterior surface, then posterior surface, medial surface. This medial surface of or medial surface of, of this bone joins with the opposite side bone. Here, here we can see uh, this one is a pubic bone of right side, and this is a pubic bone or pubic part of the hip bone of opposite side. See here we can see the junction between or join between these two bones. Okay, they are medial surfaces of these two bones articulate. Clear? So medial surface of two pubic bones articulate to form the pubic joint or pubic symphysis. So medial surface, clear now. So body is having one medial surface, then one posterior surface, one anterior surface, only one prominent border. Now the superior ramus it is having three borders and three surfaces. See from this diagram, see here we can see the superior border. Okay, so the superior border is otherwise known as pectineal line or pectin pubis. Pectineal line or pectin pubis superior border is otherwise known as what? Pectin pubis or pectineal line. See this one. Okay. Then another anterior border is there. It is otherwise known as the obturator crest. Which one? See that this one. This is the anterior border or the obturator. See, it, it is related to this obturator prime. So obturator crest. The superior border or the pectin pubis. Anterior border is the obturator crest. Okay, then inferior border. This having one more border, inferior border, which forms the upper margin of the obturator prana. There. You see. You see in this image. This one. This is the inferior border. Okay, so see the borders, superior border. Then Anterior or obturator border, obturator crest, then inferior border. See the tip of the cursor. Superior, anterior or of the obturator, then inferior. So, like the three surfaces are there between the anterior border and the, sorry, between the pectineal line and the obturator crest. There we are having a surface which is known as pectineal surface. It's a triangular shaped area seen between the anterior border and the superior border. It's a correct in the object. It is almost triangular. Correct now that surface which is seen between the obturator crest and the pectineal border. This triangular shaped area. That is what the pectineal surface. Then pelvic surface which is seen between the superior border and the inferior border. Between the superior border and the inferior border, this is what this area, this is what the pelvic surface. And the last one, obturator surface between the anterior and the inferior border. Then we have to see, see between the anterior and the inferior. See this area. This is one of the obturator surface. Okay, so those are the surfaces. Okay, so superior ramus is clear now. Now inferior ramus. Okay, inferior ramus is joins with the ramus of the ischium to form ischio pubic ramus. Okay, we'll discuss it along with the ischium. Okay, let show you that. See, this ramus, this inferior ramus joins with the ramus of the ischium. See, this one is the ischium. It joins with a branch of the brain, extension of the ischium. It's not the ramus of the ischium. So, the 
رمز of the previous joins is the رمز of the issue to form issue to be رمز. Okay. Now we are moving to the issue. Issue which forms the most true inferior part of the bond. We have to check it. See, this is in most true inferior part of the hip bone. Okay, it is having one body and one ramus. Okay. Now we have to discuss about the details of the body. Body, it is having two ends, one upper and under, one lower end, and three bodies, and the posterior and the lateral border of the three surfaces, femoral dose and the pelvic surface. Okay. So see, it is having two ends. What are the two ends? Upper and under, lower end. See, upper end which joins with the ilium and the pubic bone. See, this is the upper end. It joins with the ilium and the pubic. Lower end, they can form one tuberosity, ischial tuberosity. See, here in this image, it is very clear. See, this is the lower part. This area which is rough, known as the ischial tuberosity. So, two ends, upper end and lower end. This features lower end forms the ischial tuberosity. Three surfaces. What are they? Anterior, posterior, and lateral surface. See, this is a lateral surface. This is a posterior surface. And this area, this is an anterior surface. See, sorry. Three borders. What are they? Anterior border, posterior border, and lateral border. This one is an anterior border. This one. So here in this image, this is the anterior border. And this one is a posterior border. See, this posterior border it is having a peculiarity here. Here also we can see one spine. Okay. So this is spine which is seen in the ischium, it is known as ischial spine. Okay, ischial spine. Below the ischial spine, there we can see a notch. Now, this notch is known as lesser sciatic notch. This one is a greater sciatic notch. So, below the greater sciatic notch, here in the ischium, we are having the ischial spine. Below the ischial spine, we are having a notch that comes in lesser sciatic notch. Okay, so those are the features of this posterior border with the ischial spine and lesser sciatic notch. So, anterior border and posterior border. Then, this one, this is a lateral border. Then, three surfaces. What are the three surfaces? Femoral, dorsal, and pelvic surface. See, this one is a pelvic surface. Then this one is a femoral surface which comes in contact with the femur. See, femur comes here. So femoral surface. Then this is a posterior or the dorsal surface. Okay, between this lateral border and the posterior border. Okay, this is the dorsal surface. This is a femoral surface. Then here inside, pelvic surface. Okay. So two ends, three borders, and three surfaces. Those features are clear. Now the ramus issue of the ramus it is having two borders, upper border and lower border, two surfaces, outer surface and inner surface. See what are they? See this is the upper border. This one is a lower border. And this one is outer surface, and this is what the inner surface that's all. It's a flat structure. Now we have to go through the so the features of these three parts are clear: ilium, ischium, pubis. Okay. Now between or at the uh, meeting point of these three, there we can see one fossa that is called the acetabulum. What are the features of this acetabulum? So it's a cup-shaped fossa which articulated with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. See. Lower part of the acetabulum, there we can see a notch, which is known as the acetabular notch. There, see, there, see, here it is deficient, it is not a complete fossa. See, here it, the boundary is not there, the lower part. So, this notch it is known as the acetabular notch. Okay, and this outer part, only this outer part it is articular, the inner part it is non articular. Okay, that area is known as acetabular fossa. Which one? See, uh, this area, this inner part, 
this horseshoe shaped part it is articular means this horseshoe shaped part articulated with the femur bone but this inner part it is non articular it is not articulating with this femur bone that one is a acetabular fossa okay so acetabular fossa acetabular notch okay so two points are clear now here we are having one foramen between the pubic bone and or pubis and the ischia that is what the obturator foramen so what is the obturator from that is clear it is oval in males and triangular in female the shape varies okay it's almost oval in males and almost triangular in females okay so those are the features of this obturator foramen so a rough idea about the himbulum okay the remaining details you have to read from your textbook okay clear so let's go through the parts what are the parts of the hip bone standard hip bone is having three parts ilium then ischium then pubis in addition to that we are having a foramen obturator foramen then a fossa acetabular acetabular okay details of these things clear 